In Optic Studio, data is commonly entered through editors, and there are editors for several different functions. Uh, I'm looking here at the Lens Data Editor, which is used for sequential lens design, but all the editors work in a similar manner, and it's uh, useful, I think, just to discuss only one. One of the uh, things you'll see here is that the editor is split into three areas. The biggest, most obvious one is the spreadsheet where you enter data. There is also a properties inspector that lets you set more detailed information about the rows in the editor. And there's a toolbar that contains all the tools that are appropriate for this particular editor. So here in the layout plot, you can see I'm looking at uh, this particular lens. And if I just take this thickness here, 8.747 uh, millimeters, and just type a new value, say 20 in there, you can see that this lens immediately becomes 20 millimeters thick. Uh, so you're working here in this editor where you can enter radius of curvature, thickness, glass types, the coating, semi-diameter and such like. And the editor, the spreadsheet part of it, behaves just like a, any other spreadsheet you've ever used before. So you can resize columns, you, you can uh, drag columns around if you want and put them somewhere else. Uh, you can reset them uh, back to their, their uh, default settings and, and, and so on. In addition, there's a set of surface properties that you can uh, look at as well. And these tend to be the things that you set once and then leave. So for example, if I'm looking at surface number four, and it's currently drawn in this blue color, if I prefer, I can draw it in this yellow color and just click away, you can see that's now being drawn in a yellow color. So I have a set of um, controls that typically we set once and then don't normally change uh, thereafter. One of, the one of the properties that's actually shown at all time is the object type, because you might want to change that. ZMAX has a wide range of uh, surface types. You can either choose them from this drop-down list, or you can simply start typing, and ZMAX will then find everything that starts with what you want. So if I go for B, I, C, biconic or biconic zernike, I can then just choose the biconic surface and you'll see that this adds two extra columns into the editor. So I've got the X radius and the X conic as well as the Y radius and the Y conic. I'll put this back to being a standard surface. I'll put this thickness back to being 8.747, just so you can see it come back to focus. So you see this is a very easy, straightforward way to work with data. Typically the data that's in the editor here is the data you need direct access to on a regular basis for your design. The material that's in the properties is stuff that you want to uh, set typically once and then leave alone and then the toolbar data is the is the tools that are used to modify the design